Hello guys, uh, I'm here about to um, show you how to install the BL Touch Pet Sensor and and also you, I'm going to show you how to print um, the mount of a, a BL Touch Pet Sensor. Now this is the mount here as you can see, well if you, um, if you want to know where you can get the file um, you have to go to thingiverse.com here and this is my page here and my name is Jeff you can see Jeff Graham here and if you want to if you want if you're looking for a file you can just come down here hit this thing thing files and then you scroll down and then you might see the file somewhere around here here you are this is here this is the file here be able to touch just click it and then download it once you download it, use the QR software to uh, to open this file, to read this file, and then yeah. And before you want, before you're about to uh, print, try to you know decrease the size here. So I'm gonna decrease by three millimeter. So which means I, uh, it's as you can see, it's 22. So I'm gonna make it uh, 19. So. 19 millimeter 19 millimeter but keep in mind just try to, before you do that try to disable uniform scaling here before you uh you know decrease the height of it um uh, before you decrease the height decrease its uh, its height so here here you are so now it looks looks good and you and then Next thing you have to do, you have to send it, send the file, or just uh, you know use the USB cable to print out. All right. Hello. As you can see, I have so far printed the BL Touch mount here. Well, as you, as you, as you can see, I haven't used the support. I haven't used the support structure to you know to hold the the upper part here so anyway so this is how it looks like after it, it got printed so as you can see there's a stringing over here there's a stringing over here well I'm going to I'm about to you know I'm about to clean it here so I'm just about to remove the stringings here as you can see well I guess to me it looks fine if I just uh, remove the stringing and this and nothing more. It's because of the orientation that I have chosen so far. Well, that's it and well I guess it looks fine here and on the other side I have to, I have just removed the stringing here just make sure that you know the net can fit into it. I mean the nut, sorry. Yeah. So it looks like anyway, this is how it looks like now looks pretty fine now here as you can see it looks fine here it doesn't matter so this thing will go into this thing will go inside the fan box 
So anyway, this is how it looks like. Alright guys, and this is the BL Touch, uh, the Genian. This is the Genian BL Touch bed sensor from End Clubs company, uh, which is made in Korea, where I'm living right now. And this is how it looks like. So guys, I recommend you buying this one, the, the Genian BL Touch. This is how it looks like. Well, I guess the, the clone doesn't work very well because I used to I used to have the clone, but it didn't work very fine because you know it just you know, the quality wasn't good, and I have used like just uh, two weeks, three weeks, for three weeks, and then it came out. You know, I mean, it became um, uh, you know uh, defective, and you know, and it didn't just you know it didn't it didn't it didn't retract an extended road of it. Uh, of the bed sensor so therefore um, I you know I, I I replaced the clone with with the with the Genian with the, with the Genian BL touch I mean and gloves BL, uh, BL touch bed sensor and this is how it looks like guys here you go car here this is how it looks like so this is how it looks like here this is the touch bed sensor genuine So guys, now I'm going to explain to you about the wiring and everything. So here I'm just trying to show you. As you can see, this thing here, you have to extend this wire, or you have to have you have to buy, uh, you know, three wire. Uh, you know, you have to you have to get the three extra wires for extension. So you have to extend this wire. It, this thing should be extended uh, and stretched straight to uh, into the into the into the into uh, into the three D printer case, and uh, it goes straight into the um, onto the board motherboard. I mean, so you have to extend the wire, uh, you know, until it reaches to uh, um, onto the motherboard. So I'm going to explain to you about the wiring and extension. Well, extension is up to you. It's 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 on you. It's very easy. Just you know, or or you don't need to just uh, you know cut. Or if it's up to you, if you want to cut and then extend, but I don't think so. You need to cut for this one. You have to have extra. Uh, you have to have a lengthy cable. Okay, that should uh, you know that should connect to this uh, connector. So you should have you should you should uh, in a extend. Uh, or or you can have you can buy uh, you know uh, triple wires you know similar to this one almost maybe about one or two meter long and then you have to connect onto the motherboard and the on the, on the other end you connect um you know uh, you connect uh, it to to this one here so I'm gonna explain to you later on in next step I'm gonna explain to you how to do the wiring and for this one guys you have to know that this thing should be connected onto the uh, distribution hub or let's say distribution hub of a fan box well this will be a separate explanation there will be a separate instruction for wiring you know we, you, you might have two alternatives now, um, alternative one, uh, you can, you have to solder. I mean, you should solder. Like you can cut here, and then uh, you need to solder on the distribution hub of fan box. And this is here. I'm going to show it to you. This is the, uh, you know, distribution 
up a fan box here you can see this is how it looks like this will be a like you know this is how it looks like above you know you know like this is the uh, above uh, connector here and when you see it you, and you see the fan box you know this thing you know this thing connector is about so this is how it looks like on the fan box and <clears throat> here you have to uh, solder so I'm gonna explain explain to you here so as you can see here this here this is ground this and this this and this you have to consider this too so this one will be a ground and this one will be a signal now I'm gonna explain to you which color is bra signal and which color Well, as you can see here, um, I'm gonna show it to you. Um, this one here, I mean this one. I'm just pointing this one. Yeah, this one is this 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 one will be ground, uh, which is for white white wire, for white wire, and this one and. This one, the third one I'm pointing here, is signal. It's signal. It's for black wire. So this is the third. The third one is for black wire. And the second one is for white wire. So if you wanna, you know, if you wanna solder, you have to solder, you know, either like solder directly, like you know here, solder the white and black here directly. And then use the use the glue gun, to, you know, uh, to glue here, or you can just like uh, put you know solder two pin here, and then above the pin you can solder. So it's up to you. Anyway, so here this is this 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 one actually this this is this instru instru instruction is about soldering. So this is the alter alternative one, and there's the alternative two, which I can explain to you. Uh, it's on the cable so you have to do the wiring on the cable you just like uh, you know you know just you can just cut this one here you know you know cut here and then just there and then connect this both uh, wire straight onto the uh, you know the main uh, onto the onto uh, that main uh, primary cable I mean I mean the primary cable so over there you have to choose the two wires you should select like uh, one wire for I just forgot it in the color the color name so I will explain to you later about that one too so this like black one it should be to to the specific uh, uh, colored wire and white should be this to the to another specific uh, wire color so I will explain to you in step number two. Anyway, so now, as I have explained to you, the ground wire and the signal wire. Once again, white wire is for ground, and black wire is for signal. Now, where is the primary wire? Which I'm, which I was talking about. This is the primary wire here, or this is, or it's called fan box cable. As you can see, it's a main cable here. Now, where can I find the signal and the ground wire? It's right over here. It's here. As you can see, this one, the white wire, is for ground. And the yellow wire is for signal. So these two should be connected to this wires of BL Touch Bed Sensor. So 
as you can see here you can either just you know cut and then find a way here like just you know try to open this thing here and then you can just um you can just here like you can just a little bit you can peel off here and then the yellow one you can peel off here too so on both wires try to peel it off like one here and one over here and try to connect this two cable i mean two wires your white is for white here and then the black is for yellow now as you can see here i'll explain to you about ground and the signal wires and there's another one cable here as i explained to you this thing this cable will go straight to the motherboard it's called it will go straight to the servo pin or servo uh, servo pin or port so it goes straight to the motherboard now this thing will come out from here as you can see this one this one is for this one so I'm talking about this one so this thing here see I just uh, taped it and I stretch it out all the way and you can see here and then I connect it as I told you I explained to you you have to have an extra triple wires and then you and then you have to extend it and you have to extend or make it lengthy and then you know and then uh, and then you put it inside here into this uh, cover and then go straight in straight to the motherboard so uh, this is how it looks like so I will explain to you in the uh, next step now as you can see I have um, I have recently printed the uh, bed sensor mount for VL Touch, and now all you need to all you need to do is to have this two uh, 3M screws. Okay, this is how it looks like so here. As you can see here, this is how it looks like here. So. Here, I mean, inside here, it has, I mean, the VL Touch bed sensor has has already been installed. So I'm just trying to explain to you right now how I, how I have done it. Uh, now, this is how it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you very carefully. So I want you to listen to me very carefully. This is how it looks like, okay? Just like this. Now, this is the bed sensor here, okay? This is the bed sensor here. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up here. Okay, empty here. Okay, just empty this pack of screws and nuts here and take this one take two screws m2 screws here and look for the washer okay insert onto this m2 screw as well as this one this is how it looks like Now, and take out the two nuts, here you are, two nuts, and then just remove all of them away from here, that's it, all you need to have this, two screws, washers, and two nuts yeah and by the way don't forget to take off the take out the two springs here you are
Now listen carefully here. Well, I have, I have seen many users have, have been having trouble in setting up the bed sensor. So I want you to listen very carefully. And I'm going to explain to you all in details here. Now, first thing is first, okay, pick the mount here. Um, I want you to, okay, try to, okay, take two screws, take two screws. And you need to one second here we got this the space is so tight here. Alright. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now all you need to do is just Okay. Alright. Now take two screws. Insert from bottom one. And two. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay. And now insert in this way. Uh, prefer that you have to put the spring. Number two, put the spring onto it. One and two, sorry, like this. See, should be like this. This, this, this is the orientation of spring. To it. All right. Now you have to in, uh, push the mount. Onto the. Let it. Let the screw goes into. The hole of the mounts on each side and you have to press a little bit harder now you have to hold it very strongly wisely in order to put the put the nut here kind of a little bit well I can see I can I can see I am kind of a little bit struggling here but well but you have to you know be very careful don't let it go, otherwise it might jump off. Okay, I get another one here. Okay, I just okay. Number one, number one is this is done. Now number two. All right, number two. You can see. Oh great. All right. Kind of a little bit having a problem right. holding it because it's. You have to be. A little strong to okay all right it's done now let's try to tighten it a little bit you should equalize on both sides but now it's uncertain for adjusting the uh, bio touch bad sensor this can i mean you should i mean for the bad sensor adjustment it should it shall be done later on so right now i'm just temporarily you know a little tightening here i'm just equalizing it uh, uh it's uh height here the bed sensor's height here this is called height adjustment. So I'm trying to be a little bit, you know, adjust on, on both sides so that it on both sides should look very equal. Anyway, so that right now it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> the BL touch adjustment uh, can be done later on uh, well, during installation. 
so this can be installed uh, later in the fan box which I'm going to explain to you later so once you inst uh, install the bed sensor into the uh, fan box uh, you have to be careful you can, as you can see here this is the bed sensor as you can see it has been already installed <clears throat> so the position is over here see you remove this one here take it take take out the two screws here and then above here and then you put inside okay and then you um, you know screw them <coughs> so how it looks like so you know and keep in mind if you want if um, during installation okay I mean, I mean after you install the bed sensor and there is a Z adjustment this two side here yeah because uh, sometimes you know the bed sensor uh, you know as you can see the if, if, if it's installed sometimes the bed sensor will will be lower than the nozzle so there is a kind of a adjustment so you have to first uh, you know you have to adjust the bed sensor a little, little higher than the nozzle a little bit higher than the nozzle then and then oh uh, you know uh, the next thing is that you have to you know uh, do the Z uh, adjustment as you can see there's, there's a there's a screw here one here and one over there here I cannot just <clears throat> here now this step is about BL touch bed sensor installation and wiring to the motherboard now I'm about to open the uh, motherboard case here and to show you all uh, to show you that the instructions all in details now make sure that you have uh, make sure that you have you have unplugged this cable here now you have to uh, you have to put your printer in this or in this orientation this is how it looks like and make sure that you have put something over here like here so I'm about to unscrew them all right guys Start from here. Sometimes you need to use the tool. Well, my driller links seems like uh, you know it's it's fast, so if my drill, you know, I mean it seems like it's, it's loose here for the drill, you know, for the driller. It seems like it's sharp in here, so I'm using this thing to unscrew it. Easily. 
All right, sorry about that. <laughs> down if I should be careful. Right. Now another one here. Right here one more. And way to go. This thing holds the back cover. Now keep in mind that my 3D printer is completely upgraded. So don't be confused that why my 3D printer is different from yours. Well, this has been already upgraded. Now, as you can see here, everything is upgraded here. My PSU has the Tunon, uh, sorry, Noxio fan it's installed and the motherboard fan installed DMC uh, you know steppers uh, e-steppers uh, DMC have been installed and you know steppers driver I mean okay stepper stepper drivers have been installed and a MOSFET too as you can see these two are installed well I you know one is for the bed Heat bed, heat bed, and one is for the hot end. But the hot end is not connected because I don't recommend you connecting it because this thing might damage your this you know this board. There's a board here, hub. All right, this is how it looks like now. And now I have to uh, open this thing here. I have to unscrew here in order to show you the BL touch cable all right all right so take this tool here and unscrew the motherboard fan here well there is a nut behind here so I have to be careful not to not to make it fall There's a nut behind you, so I guess I guess it's stuck inside here. Okay. Listen carefully. So you guys have been have have so far in have waited have so far waited for me to explain to you to instruct you how how to install the BL Touch bed sensor. Here you are. All right. I'm gonna zoom in here. It's over here. Okay. You see this cable here? This is that sensor uh, cable or wire here. You see this here? All right, I'm going to unplug this thing here. All right. Now, keep in mind, 
this is how it looks like so I'm gonna unplug it all right this is how it looks like now if you want to connect okay keep in mind that number one here there, there are three pins now pin number one is yellow pin number two is brown pin number three is red so this is the positions and the sequence so I have already put some glue here in order not to you know scramble them so they are already had been set 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 up here but I have to make sure this you know the red the yellow thing is coming out so yeah anyway so I'm going to plug here okay now keep in mind this motherboard as you can see here, my motherboard is completely upgraded. You see here, there's a, there's a, you know, Xenon fan installed, and and you see here, there's a, you know, this is this is called uh, uh, stepper drivers. It's TMC stepper drivers, which are which are which are newer, and they are the latest. And you know, and we, you know, keep in mind that when if you want to flash the firmware. You have to be care you have to you have to you have to notice that you need to do some changes for you know you need to do, do some changes in configuration files through Andriono software by changing from stock stock steppers <coughs> uh, name into TMC name so this uh, well this explanation I mean this will be uh, explained later on um, well and this is the and this is the motherboard here as you can see you see here, this is the stock step drivers. One second here, stepper drivers. This is the stock stepper drivers here, and you see here, it is a little, little difference here, you know. So anyway, I removed the heatsink, and that doesn't look similar to this one anyway. And you know, uh, well, well, while I was installing the TMC stepper drivers, the orientation should be in, in different way, you know like you, it's for example for example the stock one like stock uh, stepper driver is like like you have to install to left direction like that this thing you know should be in the left direction but for the <coughs> TMC stepper driver should be in the right direction you see here there's a potential meter here see here this is the potential meter you see here it's like here to the to the right direction here now, as I explained to you for the BL Touch instruction for wiring, now you see there here I already connected here. First, as I as I explained to you, you have to make the wire longer. You have to make the wire longer by making it lengthy. So it's up to you to make it lengthy here. Mine is actually almost a two meter wire. I think one one point five meter wire. So I connect it here and then I all the way I stretch it out into the hole here. You see here? I'm gonna give me a second here. As you can see here, this is how it looks like here. So here all the way it goes out uh, into this hole here. You see here? Here. So I stretch it all the way out from here, all the way out from here. As you can see here, see, this so is how it looks like, I mean this one, not this one. This is actually um, for the fan, well this is, I will explain to you later on. This is the BL touch wire here, this is how it looks like here. Alright, now this cable is actually for the fan, I already, you know, I doubled the wire here for this one. Actually this is the fan wire here, so I doubled this, see. I made I doubled the <coughs> connector in order you know for for the for the extra fan and that extra fan is for extruder here this is the extruder fan I just installed over there you know you can you can check in my page you will see there's a fan here this is this is instructor uh, what is it called this is uh, instru uh, extruder fan here over there anyway um, let's get, get back to the point here this is how it looks like here <coughs> mine here the orientation is a little bit different here because <clears throat> when I choose this this type of orientation meh, because of the airflow or the motherboard you know if I just face it in an, in an, in an, in an, in an opposite 
orientation and you know then well therefore a well therefore uh, yeah i mean if i just put it in a different orientation then the sound will be then it, it will sound it, it'll give a strange sound like hissing sound whistling sound so that's why so this is how it looks like mine here so yeah um, keep in mind guys so this is how I'm, this is this is how i do here this is the orientation for uh, fan installation so i do this because it, 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 I do this because it will not do the do, do it will not create a strange sound like whistling or hissing sound. Yeah, and also and also uh, the wires behind this fan will not touch the the fan itself because there is the you know there is a boundary or there is a barrier here. You can see here. Okay, now it's rotating very well. All right, this is how it looks like here. Wait a minute. Um... Okay, this is how it looks like. Sorry about the previous video, but now here I perfect it here. See? All right, I'm about to screw them now. And don't worry about the fan here because this is your known here and there are four, uh, you know, corner here that doesn't allow the cover to touch the fan here. You see, it's rotating very well here. No problem at all. Okay, the first screw should be here in order to hold the entire cover here. And then second one here, the screw here too. <clears throat> so yet don't try to tighten them right now just try to put them in you can later tighten them in order to uh, make it equalized you know you need to because the hole because of the holes here sometimes the screw doesn't go inside so you don't need to tighten them so keep in mind here there there are no holes here because because of the orientation so i just flip the back cover upside down and here it's impossible to <coughs> to insert this screw <coughs> but anyway if everything's perfect here don't they, there's no worry about it Now you need to place them back here and then put the screw here.
All right, it's almost tight in here. Yeah, it looks tight here and here. It looks tight, tight as well. Now keep in mind that, as I explained to you, you stretch the wire out all the way from here. And then you need to use a uh, glue gun. Yes, try to use the glue gun here. So you, you stretch out from here and it goes all the way here. You see here, I put the, I, I, I use the gun glue to glue here in order not to get loose. So this is this is the what this is the <coughs> here this is the wire here you see here so this you see here it goes straight up there it sits here I just glue here and then sits it goes all the way straight there and then it comes down here you see here it comes down like this and it goes all the way you know this is the this is the wire here it goes all the way inside here and then it goes all the way straight to the fan box all right now I put them back to the state one now everything looks good here all right so <clears throat> Alright, so I'm about to explain to you um, the installation of the build touch. And you see here, there's a build touch inside here. So I have already explained to you, mine has, mine has already, mine has already been installed inside my fan box. You can see here, there's a, this is the bed sensor here, build touch pen sensor. And this is how it looks like from here. As I explained to you, the wires stretch all the way here and then I connect it. Here, you see, this is how it looks like. Second here. This is how it looks like here. Yeah, anyway. Now I'm about to open the front part, it's called grill. So keep in mind mine is glued here and I can use again with the help of my gun glue to glue the edge of it, okay? So this is, I'm going to a little bit press it, all right. Came out here, this is how it looks like. Now keep in mind there's a fan over here too. Mine has three fans, one for the duck, hot end, and one is in the front grill. This is how it looks like. So I'm about to put them off here. Well, this one has a triple connector, so I have already soldered. It's a mode here. See, you see here one goes three, one to three connectors. So it's, it's I have I I have done this by myself. It's it's a triple connector mode, or whatever. So you see here, yeah. Now you see here there's a build touch here. You see here, as you can see, this is my build touch here. Hidden here, so I installed here, and this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like here. So I just don't want to, you know, uninstall them. Like I just don't want to touch them. Just pull them out. Just this is how it looks like. You can understand. You can you can understand very clearly. So this has been already installed. This is how it looks like here. This is the BL touch screw one here, and one here. And this is how it looks like here. You see, like this. 
like that and like you know there's there's a mount about there's a mount above this pad sensor pill touch pad sensor it's already here screwed here has been screwed anyway yeah this is how it looks like so I'm about to use my gun glue to glue H you know the edge the edge of the fan box for the uh, grill part so now I'm I just just now I plugged in and it needs some time to heat up now I'm um, I have to peel off the gl the old glue here as you can see so it's easy you know whenever you if you open if you remove the front grill part it's possible for you to, to re-glue it so I have no problem I don't use the screw to to make it to make I mean to screw them or to make to make I mean to 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 make it whole on it. I'm okay with this one without the screw here. Alright so I'm about to glue them here. So you have to glue it above here. So you have to press a little bit harder in order to fit. That's it. It's perfect. It looks like here perfectly fine this is how it looks like and as I explained to you here this is for the This is for the extruder uh, fan here. This is the fan over here, as I explained to you. So this is another, uh, uh, this is the fan wire, sorry. And this is the extra cable, you know, that, that has been connected straight to the motherboard fan port, which I explained to you recently. I have shown you all right so I just disconnected so because um, I'm, I will do it later on I'll connect it anyway so I'm about to switch it on and to show you that my VL touch has been already installed before so I'm gonna show you how it works this is my VL touch it, it, it extended it and it retracted more than two three times and this is my BL toucher installed as you can see there's a blue light emitting you know as you know BL touch has two lights one is red and one another one is blue if the blue light doesn't work it means that you have to do some change uh, through configuration file through Arduino software as I have explained to you if the blue light does if the blue light doesn't work 
then you need to do a change you need to go to the configuration file and then you need to do some editing like uh, for example if your motherboard uh, show, shows that three, three gorilla uh, uh, 1.1 version then you need to edit in the configuration file 1.1 if your motherboard is three gorilla which means zero version that means which means you need to go back to the configuration file and then you know edit it zero so anyway I'll explain to you about this later on now this step is about compiling the new firmware through and Reno software now the first thing is first you need to open your browser here and and then type in this link here this is my link here you can type this link here and it will uh, direct you straight to my page this is my page here as you can see any cubic guy 3 mega mega s upgrade set there's it's a complete upgrade set here plus peel touch merlin firmware so in this web, in this page in this page of mine you can you can learn uh, more uh, you know you can learn more about installing build touch pet sensor uh, all in details so this thing I mean my page here explains to you all in in a detailed instruction for build touch installation now first thing you need to do is come hit this thing here team files then you scroll down here all the way and, and look for this file complete package of Marilyn 1119 1119 source for BL touch uh, or clone or a bad sensor so I have I have already downloaded I have already downloaded it so I don't need to re-download it so and this is the this is the file here this is the uh, this is the file here which is which have which is zipped so I have I have already uh, extracted to this folder here as you can see so I unzipped and it's here and here as you can see it has a complete instruction starting from step number one to <coughs> step six as you can see here in, in step number one uh, you know you need to print the build touch bed sensor mount and install the cure software now uh, I'm going to open this one here it is this this file has a complete uh, a completely detailed instruction here so I'm going to open here it and you see here it explains completely it explains all in detail which I have recently researched and and, and wrote down here see here they are all explanations starting from step one step two and three and you go the way you scroll down step four step five and step six now I'm gonna start from steps step number one so you hit double click the step number one here as you can see here uh, you, this is the STL file for BL touch mount so first of all you need to uh, download the Cura so this is the Cura link here so you need to you need to download uh, the Cura software so all you need to do is copy and paste here and then it will, it will direct you straight you know to this link here now you see here this is the uh, web page of uh, ultimate Cura here you can just like double click, just click here and then you, you will download the file which I have already downloaded so the so the software is already here this is the software here this is the software here so which I have already downloaded so I don't need to reinstall it again and now let's go back to okay to the folder okay step one has been accomplished so don't forget to you know uh, yeah don't forget to print this file here which I have already explained to you in a recent in in a, in, in a previous video uh, all right now step number two you need to install you need to install and you know ID software so this is the software here which I have already installed and if you want to you know if you want to know where the link is here's the website download link file you can double click here and then copy and paste and it will refer you straight uh, to the page you can see here it will direct straight to the page this is the end you know 
uh, website all right so now all you need to do is double click and then install it which i have already installed and here's the software this is the software here this is this is the step number two so this is the software here which i've already downloaded now this Arduino is known for this this Arduino software is known for uh, creating a new firmware it's 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 known as a firmware maker now um let's get back here okay so you see here step two now step three okay here is the Marlin Merlin 119 source folder for BL touch and so on now you see here you need to open this folder and look for Merlin folder and double click here now now scroll down and look for a file called merlin.ino here is the file now you need to double click this okay now you have to now you need to <clears throat> follow the instruction which is mentioned in 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 this file as I explained to you here come back okay here one to six step instruction you need to double click this one which I've already opened it now here you need to come scroll down here see this explanation is already mentioned here so you do, just scroll down now let's start from here now sometimes you know in this is the Arduino software okay and sometimes you don't see number like C123456767 sometimes sometimes it is disabled so in order to enable it open the file option this one see display line numbers so enable this one if you see it's disabled enable it okay now okay now we need to look for configuration dot edge so this tag here you see you need to click this one all right now you're in this page all right so let's 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 try let's do it let's uh try to you know uh comment out and look for uh you know uh okay here so i'm going to come back here all right so let's follow this step here here okay let's start from here line 313 to 358 all right look for 313 you need to just forget all about this 313 here. Where is it? 313. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see 313 to 358. Thermal settings. Now, this is about, uh, you know, about the thermal settings for Stoke Hot End 5 V or E3D V6 Hot End. Now, you guys, if you are not very, you know, if you're not, you know, experience in this stuff here so you just leave it untouched you don't need to do anything so this one here is about hot and thermal so if you for example if you have a stock uh, v5 so you need to change this into one okay one here you see one 100k thermistor this is for the stock one okay if you have stock uh, hot end which is v5 so you need to change this into one but if you have E3D uh, V6 hot end, then you need to type in 5 here. So you see 100k thermistor. So this is the, you know, the detail here. But I think, uh, but you, you got, you, you got, but you guys, you don't need to do anything. Even, even though if your, if your hot end uh, has uh, if you if your if your printer if your 3D printer has uh, uh, stock stock hot end which is V5 so just leave it untouched you don't need to do that I mean you don't need to change it here just leave it untouched so it doesn't matter here you don't need to do anything now come scroll down here okay and you see here 558 okay from 313 to 358 so here it's up to you to you know to configure so here it's a temperature you know it's starting from temperature 5 and then like and the maximum like 285 so you know 
you don't need to do anything about this one here and it's this is the temperatures for the bed and hot end so you just don't need to do anything here just leave it untouched now let's scroll down all right now we are here okay we are okay stepper type stock steppers or R. all right now let's look for 559 five 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 nine here now here is a very important part okay if your if your 3d printer has a stock stepper drivers okay you need to change this okay to this for example, the key here, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. So you need to do it one by one until you reach here. Now keep in mind, if you have a TMC2208 installed on your 3D printer, so you don't need to do this. You don't need to change this into stock one. So leave it untouched. So I'm going to undo here because mine has already TMC2208 installed so I don't need to uh, you know do anything here so here is the explanation so this is about I mean this section is about uh, uh, stepper drivers uh, I hope you know what it, what it is and you know if you know you need to know if you need to know more you can just go through the YouTube and look you know just type in uh, stepper drivers and it will explain to you all about this like TMC2208 and A4988 so if you have stock one just try to change all this into A4988 now okay now here we need to go to the BL touch configuration section okay so now we're going we're about to move uh, move to BL touch section so now you need to look for 736 if you have a build touched uh, v3 newest new version uncomment this line okay let's go 736 now this is here okay here now you see there there are two build touch here so i guess you don't need to do anything with this one okay just leave it untouched just stick here now you see this is enable here you see here define build touch if you if you see there's a forward slash it means it's disabled if you see this thing like forward slash it means disabled enabled in uh, in order to enable it just delete forward slash and it gets enabled now you see this is the uh, you know uh, build touch delay sometimes you know your I mean your if it's hundred it's, it's very fast you know so if you want to put a little bit delay just try to put 800 so I prefer to put 800 in order to put a little bit delay for uh, via, you know for bed leveling now <clears throat> let's move on to 796 796 okay you see here 796 okay now let's talk about here you see here this is your fan box okay and you see in here which, which means nozzle so you see here like plus and minus plus and minus so you see plus is right minus is left you see here like a r i g h t right and here l e f t it's left so plus means left and minus means sorry plus means right and minus means left and you see here there's a front means minus and then plus means back now you see here x as you know x means uh you know left left and right it moves left and right so this is about your build touch bed sensor this is about your uh bed sensor position where your bed sensor position is so for example okay uh, like in X okay you can just I mean this is like X here see from left to right this is like X X okay X means like this okay so it's zero so you don't need to move your BL touch position now you see your BL touch is here you know for, for you know I, 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 
basically I have explained to you in a previous video the BL touch will be here so it's over here now you see it says that you see here it's like I have already typed here zero which is like here zero is here actually and if you want to move a little bit here it becomes like one two three four so here it becomes like plus one plus two plus three plus four well you don't need to put like plus here but just like you know but I guess just, yeah you need to put like plus one two three four and if you go backward it becomes like minus one minus two minus three minus four anyway so now you're in the middle so you don't need to do anything it's just here so it's zero now why it's like this like up from up to down okay from down to up so why it's 23 it's minus 23 now you see this is the nozzle here okay now the nozzle is here and it says like minus 23 minus 23 means here you see minus is here so it's it means my bill my best sensor is a little bit here okay it's not just over here I mean it's a little bit here it's minus 23 millimeter okay minus 23 millimeter you know so for the Y position it's a little bit here minus 20 minus 23 position so guys you don't need to do anything here just leave it untouched so I have already prepared and I have already you know prepared the package for you so leave it untouched now for the Z just leave it untouched for in you know for for the Z position actually Z means up and down so for the Z you if you see your your bed sensor is touching the you know if you see your bed sensor touching the bed you need to adjust the height of the bed sensor by you know you, you need to adjust the bed sensor by using the washers you know washers are the adjustment so you need to just you know screw like you know if you rotate the screw in the left direction you know the bed sensor comes down downward if you you know if you like uh, rotate the screwdriver in the left directions your bed sensors will go up so anyway I will this will be explained in later in in next uh, step so you don't need to do anything so leave it untouched now just come down here leave it untouched you don't need to do that see here it's all uh, you know set up here now look for okay this is all we jumped all okay come to 995 995 995 five well you see here one two three four five there are five types of uh, you know leveling okay here this is the bed leveling section so so far I have enabled this one okay you see there's no forward here no forward slash here so it is enabled auto bed leveling bilinear bilinear is very it's very helpful you know and it measures like uh, you know it has it it, it, it does a five great uh, bed uh, leveling so I prefer this one very useful anyway so this is enable now look for one 040 1040 1040 here you are so this is this has already been enabled so it has a five grid you see set the number of five grid points per dimension you understand so you know five grid like one box two box three four four box five box so you know like five grid so it's just like five 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 so anyway so this is enabled here so you don't need to do anything leave it untouched now here you see set the boundaries for probing where the prop can reach uh, well you don't need to do anything it will be untouched here since you have uh, any cubic i3 mega or mega s uh, 3d printer so far you know the latest is any cubic mega i have heard so anyway all the printers uh, you, you have you don't need to do anything here leave it untouched okay because you see here like left prop bed sensor starting from 10 millimeter and the right and your bed, uh, you know, uh, your your bo I mean your fan box, your your or uh, or your bed sensor reaches until 190 millimeter to the left directions. Here is like from front 10 millimeter, which is behind, and then all the way back means coming front to 202. 
millimeter on your bed so you don't need to do anything leave it untouched all right so this is yeah this is for this one one four here okay let's head me explain here now you need to come down yeah this is very important guys very important i'm going to explain to you listen carefully see if you have a, your motherboard logo 3 gorilla 1.1 installed and set to 1 but if your motherboard shows only 3 gorilla which has no number okay only 3 gorilla um then you need to set to zero all right listen to me carefully let's scroll down all the way to the ending Let's scroll down all the way here you are 1975 1975 here you are you see here here now i'm gonna explain to you what does what does this mean this this, this thing plays a, a you know a huge role so i'm gonna explain to you now as you can see if your motherboard suppose if your motherboard shows three gorilla 1.1 logo i mean if your motherboard has a logo which shows 3 gorilla 1.1 then you need to set one here you need to type your one and if your motherboard has no like no number on it like for example 3 gorilla but but no number for example like this one here as you can see this is the motherboard here you see here 3 gorilla so there's no number here so if there is no number here you need to change this into zero okay but if your motherboard has for example three gorilla 1.1 like three gorilla 1.1 then you need to change this into one you understand because my motherboard has you know it shows 3 gorilla 1.1 so it is not the same as this one mine is different so anyway guys i'm just explaining you in case if you have this type of motherboard so please change this into zero otherwise if you change into one and if your motherboard is same as this one then your bl touch might not work it might sh it might show there it might uh, light up the red light but you might not see the blue light uh, uh, being lit because uh, because uh, it, it doesn't send a signal so please be careful guys there are many people out there many users out there they have any problem with this one anyway now you see here I'm, I'm about to um, I'm about to compile the firmware okay so now you need to come here you look here see here is explanation next compile if a new firmware going through menu sketch and then verify and compile option and then select export compile binary to export it within the folder then within the folder within that same folder search for a file no showing marlin in dot ino dot mega dot x all right i'm gonna explain to you here so it's hit hit here sketch sketch here and then uh hit this one now you see it shows here compiling sketch here So it takes some time here. All right, that's it now you're you have already uh compiled a new firmware now if you want to look for a new firmware my minimize okay go back to the step number three open the merlin uh, source folder go to the merlin folder and look for your firmware <clears throat> all right here's your firmware this is your firmware 
keep in mind there are two types okay so this is your firmware file here so please don't get mistaken for this one this is the bootloader so don't get mistaken for this one so this is your uh, firmware um, file now if you want if you want if you want to flash this uh, firmware file on your 3d printer you need to go back there again you know and you have two way to to flash uh, your firmware file either you can come here and then just you know hit upload if you hit upload it will flash your 3d printer or or you can use cura here you are you can use cura to also flash your 3d printer so i can also show you about the cura here and um, well you have you have two alternative way to flash your 3d printer so well it takes time to you know to come up anyway so i'm going to come here and and i'm about to uh, you know flash the my 3d printer here all right i'm going to flash my 3d printer here so you need to hit upload well i guess it takes time here so i'm going to finish it i'm going to you know go for, i'm going to go forward very quickly all right guys so mine has been already flashed so i'm going to close this one here and now you need to come down here now move on to step four step four is here draw printer uh, face software installation so guys you need to download this uh, software by you know by going through this link or or you can go back to the folder step 4 you see here step 4 okay you can install here you can you can just install or you, it, it just opens here okay so you can just uh, you know open here Right, this is how it looks like this is the software so now I'm going to explain to you how to uh, insert the commands here so here you see install and open Proton, uh, Proton first uh, software install all these G codes one by one here so now let me uh, switch on my 3d printer on my 3d printer and I'm about to connect here well this is two ta uh, you, know, you see here 25 to 250,000 um, uh, you know <clears throat> well right here so I'm going to connect here all right so this is my printer so it has been already recognized all right, so now all you need to do is to uh, insert this one, one by one, okay, I'm going to insert this one, okay, so here, insert here, okay, all right, now, M500, see, them to the chrome okay now well if you're if you're you know um if you're using new extruder mega s titan extruder okay so you need to set this okay if your 3d print is new then you need to set this one so keep in mind if you have a mega s titan extruder which is the, which is the latest one so please insert this so this will set your correct steps for your new extruder so this is for your new extruder um here you go so send now limit your extruder feed rate insert this one
just copy and paste all right if you have, if you have no idea if you don't know anything about it, just follow what i do what well, i'm going to save this time here this is saved this will save to your eprom or your flash firmware your firmware now here you see optional well it's up to you if you wanted to add this one it's up to you so for this one you see certain optional so it's not very necessary so it's up to you now you see try this if you are if you want your 3d printer to accurately print you know open proton first software and insert all these g codes accurate acceleration so i'm going to you know insert one by one here Now, just finally save it. All right, it has been saved. Now, step number five, inserting G code in Cura software. So now you need to install Cura software. Okay. Okay, okay close this one. Alright guys, so I just opened the Cura software here and this is how it looks like here. Now the first thing you need to do now uh, okay now you're in the step number four. Okay. Um sorry step number five here. So you you need to insert a G code in Cura software. Okay. Open open Cura software and go to setting printer manage printer and machine settings so you need to go to the settings now where is the settings here setting printer manage printers and then where machine settings is a machine setting now look for start g code this is start g code here and this is ng code here under start G code, insert this G code right under Z homing, either just uh, G28 or G28 Z, Z, Z0. So you see here either, either beneath. Okay, sorry, I just forgot to mention it. Either beneath, either just beneath. G, G28 or G28Z. Oh, now where is it? It's here. Look here. Here, this one. Beneath this two. Okay, beneath, below G28Z0. So you need to insert here. So, which I've already inserted. So, I'm going to insert once again in front of you. Just copy here and then paste it here. Okay already pasted so I don't need to so I paste it here so that's it and then you need to save it all right close it that's it so you save it now all right so the first thing is first um, um, <clears throat> you need to first uh, switch on your 3d printer here you are so this is my printer here, it's already switched on, this is how it looks like here, and you can see my bed sensor is already has been installed, and you can see there's a blue light a little bit showing, yeah. Now all you need to do is go into the setting here, and we hit the print. And then go to special menu and then hit this one here you go inside now before you want to hit 
the auto bed leveling, try to first preheat your bed. Hit the preheat bed and then hit enter here. Okay, it's about to preheat the bed here. So you need to wait for a while till the temperature reaches to 60. So right now it's at 27, 28, so it's, it's reaching up. So you need to be patient for a while until it reaches to 60. Alright, this is how it looks like. This is my bed sensor here as you can see. So as I as I have explained to you recently, I have I, I have already adjusted the bed sensor here and there's a two washer inside here. Now I'm gonna explain to you a little bit here for you for you. I'm gonna first try to you know let it go let it go upward. Actually, my mine has a TMC install, so that's why it's very noiseless. Now you see here, this is my ruler here. You see, this is how it looks like here. So it's a little bit upward. So my bed sensor is a little bit upward. I guess it's about three millimeter higher. So I'm gonna use my caliber here. So I'm gonna see. Well, this is like a. Hmm. Well, I cannot just, uh, you know, use with this thing up here. But I'm gonna use my ruler here. But I cannot just. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's about, it's almost, uh, you know, two or three millimeter higher. The nozzle is two or three mil. I mean, the bed sensor is almost two or three millimeter higher. So I guess everything is fine with me. Everything is fine with my 3D printer. So yeah. Anyway, so I'm about to show you the bed leveling. So I guess it reaches to. 60 all right it's about to reach to 60 all right yeah the bed is hot right. so i guess it's almost yeah so now you need to go to the menu and then hit auto bed leveling first you have to auto bed Auto bed. First, you have to do the auto bed leveling. So hit this one here. As you can see, as I told you recently, and again, I'm telling you why my 3D printer does not make sound because it it, ha it has. I mean, my 3D printer has been installed. I mean, my, with I mean the TMC 2208 stepper drivers have been installed on my 3D printer. <clears throat> you see, see, it's a little bit upper. If you see the best sensor is a little bit, if you see the nose is touching, uh, you know, if, if the nose touches the bed, then the bed sensor doesn't work it might show the error but if you see like if for example if you see the bed if you see the nozzle touching earlier than the bed sensor then you need to use this screw i mean screwdriver to adjust the bed sensor you know they you need to just like from downward you need to put you know you need to insert the screwdriver in order to adjust the washers there are two washers below the mount of the uh, bed sensor so right now it's the bed leveling here, as you can see.
right, it's about to finish now. All right. Now, what you should do, now come here, hit the save, EEPROM, and then hit enter. That's it, you hear the beep sound, which means it has been saved. Now all you need to do is restart your 3D printer. Now I'm going to explain to you how to do the um, step six. We are right now at the steps at step six. So here it's about the auto bed leveling and print mesh test. Well, you can just hit here, you can scroll down all the way here. And here, now we are at step 6. So, please do auto bed leveling and do the mesh test print. So, uh, I have already done this, now I'm about to do the mesh test print. So, what should you do? You need to open Hunter Fresh software, which is this one here okay and then you need to insert this code here which is homing here copy and paste here see this is how it reacts this is homing Alright, now, second you need to insert this one, this is, this G code is for mesh test print, actually it's G26, so I'm gonna explain to you one by one. Now you see here H is for temperature, it's already explained here, it's for temperature and q is for retracting as you can see the create 4.2 millimeter and z is for extruding here you can see it's that here extruding and retraction here um so and b is for the bed well it's not mentioned here anyway so i'm about to change my this is this is the temperature for this filament so mine is actually because depending on my filament depending on each depending on your filament depending on my filament so it, 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 it differs so I'm going to because mine is you know my filament um, uh, does good with 220 so you can you can start with 200 25 205 or 210 I think 2 205 is recommended mostly recommended for your filament if it's if your filament comes out like it if it's oozing or it comes out or if it's spitting or it's like uh, not sticking on the bed so you need to increase the temperature from 200 to 205 to and then 210 but mine is actually my works very perfectly fine with 220 anyway so as i told you it, it, de it depends and it, you know, it differs so it depends actually and now i'm going to start with this one here i'm going to hit send as i can see it's about to do the mesh test print so first of all it should reach to the temperature so it still hasn't reached to the suggested temperature so now it's 51 here yeah so wait for a while all right at, at first you know it's kind of a little bit Hosing out of here, but it's okay. So it looks like. Never mind with the first part, second part, so it looks perfectly fine.
little, a little bit I have decreased the temperature until, until it works very well. Well, it still looks perfectly fine. And here comes the heating here. guys it looks perfectly fine as you can see it looks good but a, little, a little temperature change then that's it a little bit degrees of the temperature and things will look good here there we go all right so it looks good perfectly fine well this thing is you know it doesn't matter you know it's not a, not a big deal but uh, so far it looks perfectly fine a little bit ozzy you know so it just it depends all you know it depends it all depends on the on the, you know on your filament so anyway so mine is like dependable so I have to decrease temperature so it comes perfectly fine so as you can see it looks perfectly fine all right guys so I hope you enjoyed the video salute